everyone now i'll be showing us a tutorial on how to um use check boxes to create something like this right a situation whereby you click on a check box then to give you the actual score right so i'll be keep showing us a tutorial on that so first of all all you have to do is go to the developer tab right go to the insert um command and click on the checkbox button so once you click on that then you draw the shape draw it out rather so personally for me right i like um removing the label or the title whatever it's called right then i will shape it back to the normal size and and read it so basically now we need to also do the same for the remaining cells so just by just auto fill right you know the normal way of auto filling i believe so yes now the next thing now is to get the ultra score when the checkbox has actually been clicked on right so to do that first of all we need to link the checkboxes to yourself so the usual way of actually linking the checkboxes a checkbox to yourself is by clicking on your control key on your keyboard then select the checkbox right because if you don't do that right if you don't click on the control key on your keyboard if you just go select the checkbox it will say you just go and select the area where the checkbox is it won't select the checkbox itself right it just select the cell or at, at times it might try to tick the checkbox right so hold the control in your keyboard then select right so once you do that now to link it go to your formula bar click on equals to then where do you want to link it right so for me i want to link the strongly array column that's b3 to i3 right so once i select i3 then enter automatically it's been linked how do i know that so now let's click on the checkbox now you can see this place has changed to true if i do the rest of that nothing will happen right so until we link it before you can actually see the result right now we have to do this for the remaining cells right for it to be too tedious right clicking on control key on your keyboard and selecting the open again the checkboxes doesn't really make sense so how can we make this easy for us right so now we can try and make it a bit bigger code right um so i think i have a code in my bb screen right so to go to a bb screen just click on alt f11 right so once you click on that it automatically take you to the bb the bb screen right another easy way to do that in case you don't remember what's f11 is go to the developer tab right then click on the visual basic command once you click on it right so this is the code we'll be using right try to this code online but just made a few tweaks that suits my own purpose you can also do that right so now once you copy it click on f5 on your keyboard or you click on this on this play button right here right f5 on your keyboard or the play button right so once i click on the play button automatically whatever i do will reflect in my excel worksheet but you will not see it right until i check the check boxes now you can see um g3 let's move further okay let's go down as, as you can see right now that code has automatically linked each and every one each and every um, check boxes to a cell right so now let me just uncheck personally for me i love unchecking before i proceed right now we need to get the score oh no oh there's a mistake here i'm not supposed to have a checkbox for the score <laughs> right so uh, let me just play that um so my bad right now the score to get the score so let's be example someone clicks on agree that should give us four neutral should give us three strongly agree is five disagree is two um and strongly disagree is one right so and if you don't select anything automatically it should be zero or blank right so now we have to make use of nested if formula right so let's make it a nested if formula so how do we do that right so all we have to do is come to the score column then let's start writing our formula equals to if 
Now, we'll be making use of the checkbox sales area anymore. We'll be making use of the linked sales area because that will try to give us the result we want. Right? So, equals to if strongly agree is equals to true. Right? The reason why I'm saying true is because um, it will only give us true once the checkbox is clicked. Right? If the checkbox is not clicked, it will give us false. So now, so we, want it, we want it to give us call when we actually click on any of the checkboxes. Right? Let's say we click on strong, the agree should give us 5. We click on agree should give us 4. Like I said earlier, the agree should give us 2 and strong, the agree should give us 1. So now, if um, I3 is equal to true, so once we click on it, what result should it give us? It should give us a 5. Right? Let's do, the, um, uh, let's do for the next column. If agree is equal to true, right? What result should it give us? Then 4. Right? Okay, let's. If um, neutral is equal to true, what result should it give us? It should give us 3. Right? Let's just see uh, before I finish the formula. Let's just see if our formula is working. Otherwise, if nothing is selected, she give us a blank. That's how we put in double quotes. Right? Then close the formula. Then enter. Now, it's given us four because agree was ticked. Right? If I should pick disagree. Oh, okay, we stopped at neutral, right? I should click on neutral. It's give us three. Right? I should click on strong disagree. It should give us five. If I don't click on anything, we get blank. Now, let's finish our formula. Right, so um, if disagree is equals to true, we should get a two. If strong disagree is equal to true, right, we should get one. Otherwise, if nothing was big, we should get a blank, right? And let's close our bracket. Think five times because we have made the five if functions, right? Then enter, right? So now let's go strong disagree. We get five. Let's think of strong disagree that we get five. Strong disagree should give us one, right? Now drag down the formula to the end, right? So let's click on this. We get the result. This, this. Now we're testing. Sorry, um, this is not formula. And this, right? So, the right thing for us right now is to add this column from client view. So, just press control zero on your keyboard, that should automatically add it. Or you right click, you select like this, you right click, then you click on hide. Whichever suits you. So basically, this is how to create um, check boxes maybe that suits your appraisal system or you're trying to look for a better means to make your work jazzy, basically. So thank you. I'll see you in my next tutorial.